And the thing I want to teach you guys today is how to store your bulk cards. Because this is a problem that a lot of people find that they have after they're collecting for, I don't know, depends on how much you buy, a few months or years, and you're like, what do I do with all these extra cards I just don't care about right now? Like, who knows if they're gonna be worth a lot in the future? Like, what's a base set Ratatag going for right now? What's a base set, um, or <laughs> not a base set, what's a Sword and Shield commonly gonna go for in like 10, 15 years? Probably not that much. It's up to you if you wanna sell it or keep it for later on. <laughs> That's my dog Wyatt. I used to keep them in ETBs, and this is an awesome thing that a lot of people do. You buy an ETB, you get a bunch of packs, <laughs> you're able to open them up, and you can just store them in here. There's also like the card hotels that you can get at certain places, but I still feel like those take up a lot of space, and I'm not the best at organizing those kind of things. What I like to do is put them in these bricks. Now there's a couple reasons why I like putting them in these bricks. One of the reasons, Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, so there's a couple reasons I like to put them in these kind of bricks. The first reason, and I think it just looks so sleek. That's one of the reasons, they look sleek as heck. Um, you could sell them in a brick like this if you want to sell like a bunch of commons. I put them in uh, bricks of 100, or you can just, instead of just putting all commons in here, you could throw in some cool rare holographics, full arts, and make it a little like mystery cube and sell them online for that. So I think these are just awesome to have as like part of your collection. You can sell it as bulk later. You could sell it as mystery cubes later if you want to, and they just look really awesome. So I'm gonna go over to the other camera and show you exactly how to make these because it's pretty simple and fast. <laughs> all right, all you need is one of these sleeves. I'll put up here the size because there's different sizes for different graded slabs. This is basically a sleeve for a graded card. Okay, and now what you want to do is count out 100 cards. So this is 100 cards right now. These are all just honestly just a mix of con common and uncommon cards. Tangle on the front. I just always like to put something cool up on the front. All right, so you got your 100 cards, you got your slab sleeve, and you got your scissors. If you want, you can have a ruler as well and measure out five inches from the bottom, and then that's where you're gonna cut. Um, I've done a few of them, so I just go by kind of like the width of my thumb underneath where you put the card in, and then I cut that amount, and it's roughly just enough All right, there we go, it's cut, it's a little crooked, but it still should be fine. <laughs> it's easier to put the cards in if you go like this, so you're not trying to fit them all in at the same time. It's so much easier. You wanna make sure you have the tape and these flaps are gonna be out like that. That's fine. You're gonna put these sides in, this side like this, and that side like this. And it should get it about perfectly. Yeah. All right, now I like to put these down like this on the side, but you can also put them like this. Yo, all right, now we know how to make a cube. So I hope that was easy for you. And, uh, and if you don't have the supplies, I hope you go and get those supplies and make these if this is something that you think you'd like to do. Because I think this is really, I don't just like brought my collection up like another level. It's really cool just having like, um, little cabinets filled with these little blocks. I don't know, I just like looking at them. Makes my bulk just look so much better in my mind. All right, you, all, you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, whatever it is. See you guys later, bye.